listeners and subscribers thanks for tuning in so i think it's really interesting how we get these bits and pieces of truth disguised as fictitious entertainment from our movies television and games and if we really think about it it's these outlets that's really helped to shape our collective belief systems okay because for example i can't tell you how many times i'm talking to somebody about some kind of technology some declassified document uh, even some catalyzing political scandal okay it doesn't really matter invariably sooner or later you know i'm interrupted by the other person saying wow that sounds exactly like this movie or man i've seen a show just like that and it's like i get it right because sometimes uh, fiction's connection to reality, it really does seem to go beyond mere serendipity or the run-of-the-mill synchronistic flukes, okay? And I'll tell you what I mean. So I uploaded this video, and I was talking about scrying and the Black Mirror and how all throughout history, the Black Mirror has been used for different things, one of which, namely, is um, accessing the other side of the veil, basically, and contacting whatever may be over there, all right? And I was basically saying that machines like the, Hadr uh, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN might be a step up from the Black Mirror, that it might be able to do more than just contact whatever may be over there, okay? And that's... Uh, even considering some of the statements from CERN. And these scientists, they're, they're saying that they're discovering that the visible world okay, could only be about half of what's actually out there, and that they think they can open portals to stranger things like universes. So I couldn't really call it a surprise when one of my viewers uh, commented that the Stranger Things season three aired on the 4th of July, and that was when we started having all these earthquakes in California, and that the entirety of season three was basically um, talking about electromagnetic forces of energy, and that in the season they showed a uh, machine that looked like CERN, and basically this whole thing was, was utilizing these kind of things um, to open the upside down. And that was exactly what I was getting at in uh, one of my previous videos, okay? So naturally, I did a little investigating on what he was talking about. I did some fact checking, okay? And sure enough, Stranger Things season three, it did come out on the fourth, okay? The same dang old day as the California 6.4. And they've still been rocking, okay, California. Nearly 2,000 aftershocks, and then the very next day, they had like a 7.1, a 6.9, okay? The seismologists are still uh, going back and forth on it. And they've had a, it was an aftershock every minute since, okay? And while I haven't seen season three of Stranger Things yet, I went to check out the trailer and sure enough, you, you can see a CERN-like machine. Um, all the things that we're talking about here, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, just, just look at it, right? They're telling us something. You've got to recognize the symbolism here. And I mean, how symbolic are you trying to get when you have the statue of Shiva, right? The God of Destruction outside of your facility. It's telling, it's, it's very telling. And make no mistake, CERN has debuted in other films and series as well, okay? Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, this is just one of them, all right? Just take a look at that. And, you know, if that weren't enough, well, you know, hey there, Shiva, right? This is how they condition the public. It's through uh, gradual and constant increasing exposure to these type of aspects, okay? Because we're being primed for something. So <laughs> let me set up a scenario, right? Hypothetic, hypothetically speaking, of course, if you had a government that wanted to debut a certain nebulous scenario like, a, oh, I don't know, a false flag interplanetary or interdimensional invasion, okay, in order to catapult the people into a new paradigm type thing, but the public, if they have no context for that, no frame of reference for it, that'd be far too difficult to try and coax an appreciably uh, predictable or manageable response, right? They won't very well be able to put you through the reams and tomes of a uh, scholarly material out there to try to help you understand the ins and outs of alternate realities uh, so that you'll eventually be able to... Uh, buy into their scenario, of course, uh, they know things are far better absorbed when there's legitimate interest or fascination, right? So enter the mediums I spoke about earlier, right? The television programs, the movies, the games. You use these to supplement the otherwise labor-intensive education because their point isn't to get you to fully understand any of this, all right? It's to shift the masses' collective beliefs just enough to begin priming them for the initiative. Essentially, you get the average sheepo out there to some level of cognition within the realm of the initiative, so people's hearts don't fail them due to fear, right? That's, that's what the Bible says. Then you capitalize on the situation by taking advantage of the public's now mentally malleable state, right? Give us the rest of those damn rights and freedoms so we can protect you. Oh, please, please, please protect us. <laughs> that's basically what it is. And it's like, congratulations, we're now ripe for a scene straight from Revelations, all right? And if we consider the first sentence from the Stranger Thing uh, trailer, and I'm not going to, to play it, I'll get a copyright strike, I think the picture becomes clear, okay? They said, uh, you let us in, now you're gonna have to let us stay, right? 
And we've just come full circle because they've long gone beyond trying to contact. Maybe they think they're trying to create some counterfeit key to the bottomless pit. I don't know. But I make the point that given what we find on the other side in series like this, that it can't be anything good. It, it absolutely can't be anything good. 